This is a ring and circle shear made by Pecknow in 1936. This is a dogged out piece of copper sheet metal that I have laid out. It's clamped into the machine. I'm about to start making the first pass on it here. There's two circular cutter blades at opposing angles, one on the top and one on the bottom. Just slowly move this handle clockwise and the blades move a fraction of an inch closer together. Pretty much works like a large can opener or a pipe cutter. Just about to break through here soon. Voila! It comes a perfectly round circle every time. Okay, this is an ancient hammer forming technique called bossing, which dates back 10,000 years. Here we have the circular blank that was cut out on the circle shear, which you saw earlier. This is a lightweight plastic bossing mallet. This is a maple forming stump. Let me put my hearing protection on here. And we'll make a couple of passes here. And here we have the initial first step of the forming process done. This is a small six inch diameter ball, about three quarters to seven eighths of an inch tall. This is called an air powered planishing hammer. Consists of a, a frame here with a 26 inch uh, throat depth. What we have here is uh, you're basically hammering the metal between two heat treated pieces of machine steel. There's a flat die that goes up and down on the top here, 2,500 times a minute. Interchangeable dies on the bottom with different shapes on the bottom, depending on the piece and the curve that you want to make. If you look closely at this, you'll see uh, tooling marks here. This not only uh, flattens out the shrink and stretch marks, but also gives it a nice uh, planished, uh, polished type of uh, a surface to it. There we have, nice and smooth, where it was wrinkled, shrunk and stretched before. Now we have a nice smooth beginning of a ball here. 